Welcome to V Top 10 In today's video we're ranking the 10 best Oscar the Golden Boy de la Hoya knockouts. Number 10. Oscar de la Hoya vs. Daryl Tyson. On February 29, 1996, de la Hoya beat Daryl Tyson by knockout at 238 in round 2 of 10. De la Hoya with the first left hook of the fight. Oscar doesn't have to do that. He's got to do the opposite. Establish. Oscar probably is trying to establish. A ringside microphone today in our discussion that he got a little impatient against Jesse James Leha. Proud of the now trying to fight at closer quarters. In the first round, Tyson. To what Tyson has to be experiencing, like those guys in Desert Storm. They heard those bombs and they said they'll stop in a minute and lead. The new strategy employed here in the second round. Tyson with a little counter right inside. De La Hoya lands two left hands in return. Oscar pounding to the body. I can't recall De La Hoya being so effective to the body. This is something new. Tyson hurt there by De La Hoya's left hook. And now De La Hoya bombs him into the rope. Oscar De La Hoya's punching power is another story for most of the men who face him. And now Tyson beginning to cringe as De La Hoya goes to the ribs. And that was from the body blows. Four, five, six, seven, What can Oscar De La Hoya do? A second round knockout. Number nine, Oscar De La Hoya versus David Kamau. On June 14, 1997, defending WBC welterweight title, De La Hoya beat David Kamau by knockout at 254 in round two of 12. On the end of his jump, the way Oscar's going to be able to get into there is by stepping in, coming over the top bounds. Every time De La Hoya comes close to landing a shot, and it's getting intense. Just about all he could handle. De La Hoya stops Chavez. Good shot by De La Hoya. An uppercut, and Canal is hurt. He's down. De La Hoya. The hook got in. The jab, he's crouching. Right hand just shy. Kamau opens up, he's a target. De La Hoya has got his measure. Good right by Kamau. Good hook by De La Hoya. Now, had to watch out for Oscar's left too because it's Oscar's a converted softball. De La Hoya's knocked down. Good hook by De La Hoya. Kamau walks into three more shots and keeps on coming. What action at the end of round two. Scintillating exchange between De La Hoya and Canal. Canal hurt again. He could be out. He could be out. David Canal on unsteady legs. And it is over. Number 8. Oscar De La Hoya versus Jorge Pius. On July 29, 1994, De La Hoya beat Jorge Pais by knockout at 0-39 in round 2 of 12 and one vacant WBO lightweight title. With Oscar on the front. Pais fought his first 31 bout back on August 4th of 1988. It was a 15 round decision. Grove and three times in the final round to get the championship. Saw by his record posted. Overall, 53, 6, and 4 with 35 knockouts for Payet. Some bad words exchanged at the press conference between these two fighters a couple of days ago. De La Hoya, 21 years of age, 5'10 and a half, which is very tall for a lightweight. And Payet's at 5'5, five, five, giving away 5 and a half inches. Of course, he won the gold medal in 1992 at the Olympics in Barcelona. Right hand. It may be over and is. He'll never make it. Number seven. Oscar De La Hoya versus Yori Boy Kempis. On May 3rd, 2003, defending WBA Unified, WBC, and the Ring Light Middleweight titles, De La Hoya beat Yori Boy Kempis by TKO at 259 in round seven of 12. Early in his career, complained about slow making mistakes, but he's corrected that. Oh, a good combination to the head. 
Oscar threw three punches that landed, and Campus has not been able to match up to the power. What a hard right that, that all great champions have to have. Good right hand. Well, that finds it. a mouthpiece by Gunfuss. He's already tired because of the body shots and the uppercuts that Oscar's been in because he felt it. Nice left hook, double left hook. Double left hook on campus, and then Oscar fights back with a flashing combination to the chin. Oh. But actually back it up with a hook. Oh, good right hand from De La Hoya. Oscar landing hard shots to the head. Good yeah. right hand once again, Oscar. Good movement, now he goes to the body, uppercut, into the head, going out, and he did go it in. <laughs> oh, another time that the mouthpiece keeps going out. We lost the fight. Now Peace comes out again, and a great combination of stunts here. Oscar is basically growing uh, from a lightweight and up, and he's just landing power punches. Power punches. Joey Boy's backing up against the ropes now. Oscar really unloading. Going to the body, looking to finish up. Now he's going to back out of there. Joey Boy is hurt. There's a hard ride right that snapped his head back. He's in there. That's for no hitter, really. Well, you know, you're is, is just standing there and taking this type of... This is the fight that he needs to go. Oh, good combination to your head. Oscar putting on a show for the fans now. I'm pretty good tonight. Yeah, Round him up. Yeah. One, two. Well, that's it. Well, look, he'd have to send the doctor up in the corner. And it's going to be a TK on the seventh round victory for Oscar. Number six. Oscar De La Hoya versus Sterile Cole. On February 26, 2000, De La Hoya beat Daryl Coley by knockout at 2.59 in round 7 of 12 and won vacant IBA welterweight title. For the ribcage himself, setting up a clean right hand upstairs. Bouncing away, keep it going like that. A lead left hook by De La Hoya. And two more vicious left hooks to the body. Oscar now should look for a little bounce in his legs again. Hard left hook, he's getting paid. Make him throw some punches. Hey, did these guys see the Barrera Morales fight last week? Left hook lands for De La Hoya. Foley wobbling. Oscar goes to the body. Sets up a chance. With De La Hoya again lands the left hook. And Foley in trouble again. Stance and his approach in there. There's a solid left hook. Pro like Coley. He, he's a pro. There's a good right hand. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of his status, his money. I'm about it. He's going to be sicker about him if Delaoya goes ahead and finishes what look. He's taking one shot at a time. Oh, and the body shots put Coley down. Two vicious body shots. One with each hand. Referee Wayne Kelly looking in on Coley. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want any more. And Oscar De La Hoya. Number 5. Oscar De La Hoya versus Artur Gatti. On March 24, 2001, De La Hoya beat Artur Gatti by TKO at 116 in round 5 of 12. You don't want that. Right hand inside by Gatti. Oscar gives up his jab, gives up his reach. He's got his legs spread far apart. His first effective combination and crumbles Gutty with a trademark left hook. Body left hook, upstairs combinations. Can Gotti finish the round? Leans in, goes to the body. Double shot to the body. Two right hands. Hand. hands upstairs. Something new, a right hand. Another big left hook upstairs. Maybe got it forgot, it, forgot about that. There's a big right hand by De La Hoya. And guts. With one hand. No, it was painfully apparent against Mosul. Another big combination by De La Hoya. Huge left hook by Gotti. De La Hoya comes back with one of his own. Straight right hand lands flush. Once again, for his bravery, you hear them chanting, Gotti, Gotti. So already Floyd Mayweather has made a mark on De La Hoya, who lands a left and momentarily freezes Gotti, comes back with a left and a right. Body shot, right, left. Relax with him. your jab on your opponent, though. Tremendous combination by De La Hoya. Gotti, Hank. Target practice. 
Target practice as Delaware goes to the body and the head. Drives Gotti into the ropes. And the towel comes in from Gotti's corner. And Delaware has a fifth round TKO. Number 4. Oscar De La Hoya vs. Rafael Ruelas. On May 6, 1995, defending WBO lightweight title De La Hoya beat defending IBF lightweight title Rafael Ruelas by TKO at 1.43 in round 2 of 12. Straight punches, which will be very effective, I think, against the wing. More head movement and more flexibility bending from the waist. Roy Jones, he's off to a good start. He hurt you out of already. I told you that would be a knockdown. You're coming in. Yeah, exactly. I mean, my thoughts exactly because if he doesn't, then he allows Oscar just to punch. And if Oscar gives in to this, then it could be an interesting fight, but I don't think he will. I hope he won't. There he is. There he goes. A great left hook. Could be thought he's about to get hurt. A minute and 40. So you think De La Hoya can finish. There's the second knockdown. No quick stoppage this time by Richard Steele. De La Hoya with the punishment. And that's it. That's it. Oscar De La Hoya. Number three. Oscar De La Hoya versus Ricardo Mayorga. On May 6, 2006, De La Hoya beat defending WBC light middleweight title Ricardo Mayorga by TKO at 1.25 in round 6 of 12. Mayorga's looking for a quick KO. Well, this could play into De La Hoya. Oscar is not dancing, he's not really moving, he's right in front. Big shot by De La Hoya! You here in Las Vegas. Big shot by De La Hoya, Mayorga hurt again, he almost went down. He's holding on for dear life. Close to finishing him, but Mayorga did bounce back. Big shots here by De La Hoya. Mayorga should be tying him up, but he instead goes for broken. He wants to go back to that. Good right hand by De La Hoya. Mayorga hurt again. Many people forget about that great chin that De La Hoya has. He takes a De La Hoya's attention with the right hand. That was a big one by De La Hoya. This is a momentary trouble. De La Hoya working the body. Big shot, Mayorga is hurt. This could be it. He's down for a second time. Mayorga is... Can Mayorga stave him off? He's not moving. Good shot here by De La Hoya. Big right hands here. Nady will take a close look. Mayorga is in the danger zone. Big shots here by De La Hoya. One or two more, and this would be it. Big shots, and that is it. Jay Nady does step in. Number 2. Oscar De La Hoya vs. Julio Cesar Chavez 1. On June 7, 1996, De La Hoya beat defending WBC light welterweight title Julio Cesar Chavez by TKO at 2.37 in round 4 of 12. Above the left eye of Julio Cesar Chavez. Chavez and he's busted open early. Distracted him early in this fight. Body shot by Oscar. On a score to the right, right on that eye. Number 1. Oscar De La Hoya vs. Fernando Vargas. On September 14, 2002, defending WBC light middleweight title De La Hoya beat defending WBA unified and IBA light middleweight titles Fernando Vargas by TKO at 148 in round 11 of 12 and 1 vacant the ring light middleweight title. 28, ferocious Fernando with the day. Change left hooks with Delahoya. Big right hand upstairs again for Delahoya. From Delahoya's nose, again the blood flowing from Vargas's feet. Big left hook hurts Vargas. Delahoya tries to follow up. Bell saves Vargas. 
15 years later, it's still true. Has he given Vargas a chance to recuperate? I think if Oscar De Lua, up the canvas of Oscar De La Hoya's career, if he could finish this guy, if he could make Fernando Vargas eat his words, if he could knock him out, and he does. Oscar De La Hoya. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.